In this video, I'll be comparing Superbase versus Convex and going over which of these backend as a service platforms may be best for you and your needs. So I'll go over what exactly they do, who they are best suited for, and then ultimately which one might be the right fit for your project. First, I'll go over the primary functions and their ideal user. So first, Superbase is an open source backend as a service built on PostgreSQL viewed as a powerful Firebase alternative. It's ideal for developers needing relational database power, real-time sync and SQL support, and it's great for apps with complex data relationships, role-based access and traditional SQL operations. Convex is a reactive database plus backend platform where your backend logic is written entirely in TypeScript. So it's focused on real-time reactivity, type safety and ease of use. It's best suited for dynamic apps, real-time dashboards, AI-first experiences, and projects with heavy JavaScript or TS use. It's best suited for dynamic apps, real-time dashboards, AI-first experiences, and projects with heavy JavaScript or TypeScript use. Now I'll break down their features a bit more. So Superbase has relational PostgreSQL database with SQL, schemas, migrations, and strong modeling. In terms of authentication, they offer email and password, OAuth, magic links, phone, SSO, with row level security. It works real time via Postgres, QL, listen or notify. Then in terms of storage, you have secure file and object storage plus CDN support. Then it has serverless edge functions deployed close to users and auto-generated REST and optional GraphQL APIs over your data. On the other hand, Convex's key features include the schema and backend logic in pure TypeScript. Everything lives as code. They have reactive real-time queries that automatically sync without explicit setup. You have backend functions with full transactional and caching support, integrated factor search, scheduling, AI workflows, and auth components. And you have self-hosting via Docker or binary plus generous cloud-free tier. Now, in terms of performance and scalability, Superbase's performance depends on PostgreSQL. Real-time requires extra setup. Now, on the cloud, it's horizontal across regions, but heavy queries require database tuning. Then, Convex is built for edge-friendly, reactive app use, with around 60 milliseconds latency per function with built-in caching. It scales well for real-time apps, backend consistency, and sync is automatic. Then, in terms of self-hosting and the developer experience, with Convex you have open-source, Docker-supported, type-safe and well-documented community-backed self-hosting. On Superbase, self-hosting is possible via Docker, but several features need manual work and lack the cloud polish. Now, I'll go over some of their strengths and weaknesses, starting with Superbase. So, Superbase's strengths include the familiar SQL interface, robust authentication, and that it is ecosystem ready, and it's great for teams with SQL background and relational data. Now some weaknesses, the real-time setup is a bit more manual and cloud only by default, and the self-hosted version lacks some cloud features. Then Convex's strengths include that it is extremely fast to develop with TypeScript first end-to-end -end type safety, reactive by default, and then also you have built-in vector search, and it's ideal for AI-driven apps. So 80% of Convex apps use AI. Now some trade-offs or weaknesses of Convex, its document-based model feels opinionated and less flexible than raw SQL, and some worry about login and migration, but self-hosting is available. So overall, which of these may be best for you? First, I would choose Superbase if you prefer SQL relational databases and complex queries, if you need robust authentication and file storage out of the box, or if you want cloud-managed Postgres with optional local development. On the other hand, I would choose Convex if you write primarily in TypeScript or JavaScript and want functions as backend, if you need built-in reactivity, caching and vector or AI support, and finally, if you prefer quick development cycles and strong type guarantees with optional self-hosting, then I would also go with Convex. So that concludes this comparison of Superbase versus Convex. If this comparison was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.